Hi, I'm Caitlin and this is Book Chats and today's Top 5 Wednesday is Top 5 Book Recommendations. Top 5 Wednesday, as you probably know, was created by Lainey from Ginger Reads Lainey and I will put information about the Goodreads group in the link down bar thing below. This week we're talking about top 5 books that were recommended to us and it was a really hard topic because I figured out that I have a lot of really great recommendations that I have been given over the years. I, I've also, I think, talked about every single one of these books already on my channel at some point, so I apologize for repetition, but they're so good. <laughs> Book number five is OK For Now by Gary D. Schmidt. I have it on audiobook, which is actually how I listen to it. Not only was this not on my radar, but I think if I had seen the cover, which like this cover is even better than the original cover, guys, and it's so blah. Like if I had seen the cover, I would have been like, no. And I would have missed out on an amazing, amazing book. You guys have heard me talk about Gary Dishman before and just how he writes characters that are so real and so multifaceted and no one is purely good or purely evil and everyone's trying to figure it out to some extent or another. And his adults act like adults and his children are trying to figure life out and it's just really wonderful. Also, thank you to my friend Jessica who recommended this book to me. My book number four Four. I also have a copy of it. And that book is one that was recommended to me by a friend who did an exchange program during high school in New Zealand. And when she was there, this was a hugely popular book. And she got back to the US and like nobody had even heard of it. And now I still find myself being like, guys, it's so good. You have to read it. Dream Hunter by Elizabeth Knox. This book, I can't, I don't even know how to explain it properly. And it's just so innovative and different and not like anything else I've read. And that is what I love about it. Basically, it is an alternate Victorian, I think Victorian era, New Zealand, where there's this thing called the place and the place, only some people can access it. And those people, when they go there, they can capture dreams. And then they perform those dreams in these big, like performance chambers for people. The book opens and they are testing whether or not they can go to the place and one of them can and one of them can't and it goes from there. And this was recommended to me by my amazing friend Medikin. The third book I'm gonna talk about and it was recommended to me by my friend Andrew. It is Girl Meets God by Lauren Winner. This book is a Christian memoir. So Lauren Winner is this woman who was raised as kind of a reform Jew and then converted to Orthodox Judaism and then converted to Christianity. And she talks about kind of her path through that and also like how she relates to God. And I just found it very poignant. Don't let kind of the girly cover and the girly title put you off. I, it was recommended to me by a man and I like was very grateful that he recommended it to me and also like felt really glad that he had read it even though it has such like girly connotations about it. My number two book is one that I'm not really going to describe in, at length because I think that it's better to go into it not knowing much about it. It was recommended to me as kind of one of those mind trick twisty turning books and I think that it going in blind helps you to try to figure out as much as you can from the beginning and just enhances the experience. And I will also recommend, and this is how it was recommended to me and therefore I recommend it to everyone this way because I think it is the right way to recommend it that this book it has several sequels do not look any of them up online before you read the book in fact don't look the book up online this is a case where I normally expect people to look books up and read reviews and that kind of thing before they read it but I would recommend if you want to read this book just do it blind pick it up at your library, don't research it ahead of time, and definitely don't research the sequels before you read them because there are spoilers in every description and just don't do, there are spoilers in the titles, in the titles. There is a spoiler, do not good read this book. There is a spoiler in the title of the series. Don't do it, don't do it. But the book is The Thief by Megan Whelan Turner. It was recommended to me by Sarah, who is a friend of mine that I met in college, freshman year of college, we were talking about how we love these books that are difficult to guess. And she said, this is one of the best that I've ever read. It's a middle grade book and it is about a thief. And what I will tell you about it, it's about a thief who boasts in the square that he can steal anything from the king and then gets arrested for it. And what happens after that? And then my number one book, that was recommended to me is actually one that was recommended to me in such a weird way. At one point was trying to apply to professional school and I kind of hired a consultant to help me like look at my resume and look at my personal statement and like work through how to do that. And she recommended before she even would talk to me 
that I read a couple books, one of them being Strengths Finder, so I have my five strengths. But this book was one of them, and it's kind of an odd recommendation for her to make, and I picked it up, and I read it, and it changed my life. And the book is 1,000 Gifts. It is by Anne Voskamp. She is a Christian blogger, and this book is about thankfulness. I actually have a copy of it on my Kindle. I have a paper copy wandering around somewhere. I've given multiple copies to multiple people. I will give you a heads up that this author has a very distinct writing style. It's very unusual. And so she has a blog. You might want to check out a blog post before you pick up the whole book and see if you can stomach her writing style. I recommend it to a friend of mine who's like a copy editor. And she was like, oh, <laughs> and like struggled through it. But the book is about thankfulness and being thankful for not just the really positive things in your life, but finding a way to be thankful for everything that God does in your life. I highly recommend it to someone who wants to read like a spiritual self-help book that's not just all roses and I think that's what's the thing about it. It's, it's hard to describe but one of the things I really appreciate about it is you think like oh a book about being thankful like she probably just has a life that's so wonderful and everything is wonderful and hunky-dory and but she goes through kind of this year where she is trying to be thankful and and repeat it, repeatedly thankful and some of the things that happen are, are wonderful of course and they're easy to be thankful for. She talks about some trauma in her life that's very difficult to be thankful for and how to approach being thankful for that trauma and I thought that was really like interesting and helpful and it was better than just your typical like oh like here's how you should be happy and my life is perfect kind of thing. I don't know. I'm describing it poorly that is my top five this week. Let me know down below what you would recommend to me and what you have been recommended that you love. Bye.